Linda, you have nothing to worry about. A woman's nose is her own. Get the nose. What about the more useful parts? It applies to her whole body. A woman is the captain of her own ship. And Geneva's taken on more passengers than the Queen Mary. Which reminds me, I sail at dawn. <clears throat> All right, ladies, let's see if we can settle this peacefully out of court. We'd like $20 million. Wait a minute, Larry, I'm not in this for the money. I just want to keep her nose the way it is. If you hadn't opened your mouth, I could have slipped it by her. You're not going to slip anything by my client, Counselor. This injunction is capricious, without legal precedent. It's really dumb. <laughs> What I intend to establish here today is that in the state of California, a married nose falls under the category of community property, not unlike a beach house. Oh, that's ridiculous. A facial feature is not community property. It is if I establish a precedent for it. You have no case, Counselor. You're darn right he has no case. Richard, it is unbelievably sexist of you to treat me like your property. Why not just take me to court for not binding my feet? If you do, I'm your guy. Now, wait a minute, Linda. How would you like it if I changed my face without your blessings? I think Dr. Delaton has a family plan. Can we proceed? It's a very simple issue, Mrs. Phillips. When you entered into this marriage, you agreed to a contract that included love, honor, respect, and body parts. There's no mention of body parts in the wedding ceremony. There wasn't mine. Larry, Larry, I'd like to speak now. Richard, I'm your lawyer. I'll speak for you. All right, well, then will you please tell Linda all the emotional arguments I gave you for keeping her nose? All the heartfelt, sentimental reasons I have for loving it? Okay. We're gonna nail your hide to the wall. Wait a minute, Larry. That's not what I said, Linda. I love your nose. I always have. But when we walked down the aisle, that nose walked with us. But when we bought our first house, that nose was in way over its head. You've been looking down that nose at me for 11 blissful years. Linda, it's a part of my life. That's a very touching speech, Mr. Phillips, but my client is not moved. I'm a little moved. Linda, don't be manipulated by that sexist crap. He's trying to do the same thing to you that men have done to women over the centuries. He's trying to control you. He's trying to suppress you. He's trying to keep you in the cave knitting loincloths. You pig! 